am Cybertron! Hey, what's up everybody? This is Like It's 1985. This is my review of Transformers Prime Cyberverse Optimus Maximus. This is a playset which has two modes. It has a mech mode, which you see before you right now. It also has a rolling battle station mode. So the whole idea behind the mech mode here is very similar to the 1980s GoBots power suit toy, where you have a larger figure like this on which or in which you can place smaller figures. In this case, what I have is over here, I have Trailbreaker, which is of course the uh, Legion's Legends class figure, and he's manning some kind of control unit or weapon here. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but on the other shoulder here, I've got uh, Top Spin. Again, both of these are Legion class or Legends class type of figures. So they can be standing on this platform and controlling uh, the controls here. And these fold down on either shoulder. Now in the center of the mech here, you do have a sort of like a uh, control center or a cockpit for a another uh, Cyberverse Legion class or Legends figure. In this case I have Optimus Prime. And depending on what figure you use, it may work out better than others. Like this one you can still see the, the, the actual smaller Prime's head here. Really you'd like this whole head here to cover that. So, But this just gives you an idea of what you can do. So now to actually place the figure in the control center, you just rotate this down and you can see here how the uh, actual uh, Legion class figure fits in there. So uh, I will put that to the side there and you can see there what it looks like without any of the smaller uh, Transformers figures. And uh, this, this figure does have a lot of detail. I'll go into that in a second here. Uh, another feature is the legs. Uh, you can actually pull these down here and what you can do is put some vehicles here you know like their little uh, ramp or a launching ramp uh, this happens again to be uh, Prowl which is uh, again the same size or class of figures as we've seen before but you can actually use your bot shots too actually this doesn't quite fit in the uh, on the ramp but you get the idea you can actually have your bot shots here and have a nice little uh, display here's uh, Bumblebee. So you get the idea. You get the idea of the scale of this figure. Uh, this figure in terms of the overall height in mech mode is about the same height as your average leader class Transformers toy. So that's just an idea of the size of this figure in terms of height. Now I mentioned there's a lot of detail in this figure. Um, in terms of the plastic, if we take a look here, uh, you can see the uh, control center here. Lots of detail, and actually behind here is the actual speaker uh, for the lights and sound, which I'll get into in a minute here. But you can see just a lot of detail on this figure. And yes, it does have hollow bits, you can see here in the arm, but look at the, uh, the sculpting detail on the plastic. That is fantastic. It really, in my, in my opinion, makes up for the hollowness here. And you could actually place a another figure here if it was short enough. Like you can kind of get the idea on his arms here. Uh, it doesn't quite fit in there, but you gotta get the idea. You can, if you find the right size of figure, maybe we can try uh, Leadfoot here. He's a little bit chubby though. But you know, you get the idea. You can put something there on his uh, hollow arms there. But uh, going back to the detail, you can see he's got some detail here on the side. On the back here, uh, fantastic detail as well. Look at all these uh, different uh, details on the back. You could actually, if you want to custom paint this, you can dry brush all this and make it really stand out a lot. Uh, you can see here in the back is the cover for the battery, uh, the two batteries here. And he does actually come with a gun. I'll go ahead and show you that right here. And uh, it's a very nice looking gun. It actually it comes into two pieces here. You can separate. You can see the two pieces. You got some uh, translucent plastic here with actually quite a bit of detail, which is uh, really nice. And this, I guess, just fits over that as some kind of uh, 
I don't know what that functionality is, but you can see it, it it's meant to be like that. And uh, speaking of weaponry, you, uh, like I mentioned before, you have this sculpted in detail of a, like a, some kind of Gatling gun or missile launcher. But you can see in each hand there is a hole, or a pig hole. And what you can do is you can take, let's say, for example, a Voyager class mech tech weapon and arm up Optimus Maximus with that. So you do have that play value as well. In addition, there are some clip points where, if you're familiar with the Dark of the Moon basic human alliance figures, they have this clip on the end, and these can clip on at various points throughout uh, this figure like that. So there is a lot of that kind of playability uh, for this figure. Now, moving on, articulation is way, way basic. There really is not a lot of articulation uh, on this figure. You would think that the joint would move here like for shoulder articulation, for a, a swivel type of joint, but it really doesn't. And that's because there's electronics uh, in these two uh, shoulder areas here. And I'll get to that in a second. But articulation is going to be like that. And legs can go forward and back and out to the side. Pardon the noise there, that's part of the, the lights and sound gimmick, but you can see the articulation there for the legs, and that's really all you have for articulation. One, two, three, four points of articulation. Doesn't bother me too much, because after all, this is a mech, but eh, it would have been nice maybe to have a joint at the knees, but you know, what are you gonna do? So uh, a lot of people have complained about this as being hollow, and yes, it is hollow. There's the legs here, for example, but that's really to add some play value. You could actually place, uh, again, for, you, know, you can place some of your, some Cyberverse figures in there. This is not a really good example, but you can see how he kind of fits in there. You kind of have to shoehorn him in there, but you know, you get the idea. So, lights and sounds. Let me uh, show you those. Turn down the lights here a little bit. So you got two buttons here on either shoulder. Let's try this one here on him. This would be his left shoulder. And that's all that does. And then his right shoulder here. So here is a size comparison with some other figures. Over here, we have the Leader Class Optimus Prime figure. On the right here is the Voyager Class Megatron from Transformers Prime. And way down here is the Deluxe Class R.I.D. Cliff Jumper figure. So you can see that the Optimus Maximus playset in mech mode is pretty big. Okay, so before I move on to the Battle Station mode, I uh, just want to point out there is actually the helmet here, I guess you'd call it. Very nicely detailed. Uh, the little uh, antenna here move, and that's really for a transformation into like uh, battle station mode. Uh, these turn into some kind of uh, weaponry, like guns. Uh, nice sculpt. And if you push back here, the mass kind of goes up, and this actually gets rotated out to the side like this. And you can rotate the guns forward, and you have a gun emplacement. So let's go ahead and move into battle station mode here. And let me go ahead and back up the camera a little bit. So really all you gotta do is that. Like that. And then like that. Make up the arms. And there actually are wheels on the bottom here. And let me see. Oh, and actually you're supposed to, sorry, you're supposed to actually peg together the legs. There we go. That might help it roll better. Let me try this again. Yeah. Rolling battle station mode. Oh yeah. Uh, there actually are wheels here in the bottom. One, two, three, four. Let's see. So there's, again, nice, nicely detailed in terms of the plastic. So that's battle station mode. Let me get that back there. And again, um, 
Before I forget, there's actually some other features here. You have the missile launchers. Just It's like a flick fire, like that. You, you just have to use your own finger to, to flick out the weapons, kind of like you see in, uh, in Lego sets. And then there's a gimmick over here. If you rotate the gun emplacement, which is right here, the platform moves. You can look, get a look at the platform. So here's where it makes more sense to actually have your figures on this battle station platform type of thing. So you could have, you know, again, you can have your figures up here like that. You could have the commander sitting in here directing the, uh, directing the battle there. Just shoehorn them in there for now. Um, and then they tell you actually to place the weapon. Whoops, we lost one of our, our fellow Autobots. Uh, you place the weapon in this pegel here, and then you see how you have this. Uh, well, let me demonstrate like this. Let me take this out so it's more straight and parallel like that. So there you go. Pretty cool. And you can have your guys here, you know, hanging out. Drink, drinking some uh, or consuming some some energon, you know, just hanging out, doing some battle with some deceptive bums, and then you have um, what I think is probably like a prison here. These are the legs here that formed ramps for the mech mode. You pull these down like that, and you can throw in your 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 uh, Decepticon uh, Viacon there. He's in jail, so he has to go in there, and actually doesn't really quite fit that way. Let me try to do it this way. You know, you get the idea. It's just uh, kind of a cool, cool little feature. You can have that uh, as a little jail or storage for your extra figures or something like that. And then get down here. You can, you know, place some figures down here if you want. You know, it's a playset basically. Is what I'm what I'm getting at. And then, of course, like I mentioned before, you could take your mech tech weapons and plug them in here for extra firepower. That looks pretty cool. Uh, this one's, whoops, that's pointing the wrong way. It should be pointing this way. Sorry about that. This is from Voyager Ironhide, and this is from Voyager Sentinel Prime. So there you go. Pretty cool. And you got the guns back here as well. So all in all, a pretty neat uh, little battle station. Uh, the price on this is rather spendy. It's going to be $30. And uh, my suggestion is to wait till it goes on to clearance or it goes to those uh, discount stores. All right, well, there you go. This has been a very long review, I apologize for that, of the Transformers Prime Cyberverse Optimus Maximus.